have seen that acceptance alone Students at Musingu Boys High School earlier today gathered at Kakamega County Headquarters alongside the principal and a number of teachers to receive the one million shilling check awarded to them for the outstanding performance. The school has been doing well in the national examination over the years and was second in the county last year but managed to be top this year. The money will be shared equally among teachers and students. Both the parties will receive half the money each. And I hope you will continue with the beneficiary of the one million to long as I'm still the governor of Kakamega. Musingu boys had a mean grid of 10.3 with 27 A planes and 7 A minuses. We love you. We love you. And celebrations rocked there at St. Teresa Tartar Girls High School in West Pokot after 12 girls who were rescued from early forced marriages after undergoing FGM emerged as some of the best candidates in the county. The school's principal Priscilla Kamau said the girls were rescued by NGOs and had the education sponsored by Equities Bank Wings to Fly sponsorship program. Today I'm happy to say about 12 students whose life were, was endangered, got their results B plus and above. Priscilla asked parents in the county to value girl child education, saying girls have the potential to excel. And I'm sure in two years to come, with this rate of uh, good work in all our girls' schools, we shall have no problem uh, regarding uh, school dropouts. <laughs> Meanwhile, a section of Bombasa County legislators have expressed their disappointment following the poor performance of public schools in the county in the 2015 KCC exams. However, legislator Mwenye said poor result in public schools was due to lack of commitment by some parents and school board members. The school is the same. boards ambazo siko very effective who are wana hakikisha syllabus inakuwa covered. Na tunapokuwa tuna shule ambazo hazina usimabizi mzuri Na utakuta walimu pia hawana mskumo wakufanyo waweze kufanya vizuri huwa hawaindi darasani. He said the youths have been neglected by the parents leading them to join criminal gangs like Wakali Wao and Wakali Kwanza. Mwini said leaders in the coast region need to join hands and ensure all challenges facing education sector in the region are addressed in a bid to improve performance in the public schools. As Legal Galo, Citizen Live at One.